Hi there everybody, it's Cassie, and I figured I would try to do a different type of video today. Uh, as you guys may know from my videos as well as my blog posts, I've been role-playing in an RP sim uh, called Rivenland. Uh, if you guys know also in my past, I've role-played at Mischief Manage for over two and a half years, and um, I wasn't really able to find another place that I liked so much until I found this place. Uh, but while I was posting stuff on Flirt, I had people question me, asking me what it's like to roleplay at this sim, so I figured I would do a few segments of it. Uh, starting off, I figured I would first talk about uh, what the sim is that I've been at, and this is Revenland. So Revenland is a medieval time uh, sim. It's very, very open space. It actually kind of makes me think a lot of Skyrim with how open it is. We have a town full of villagers, we have a bandit's camp, we have different factions, we have vampires and guilds, and it's a lot of fun. The combat that we use is just a D100, so uh, whenever you attack or defend yourself, you use that, and then they have the person that's attacking you or defending themselves has to use it as well, and the highest roll wins. Um, this is a paragraph roleplay sim. You do roleplay by going in turns and using a post order. Post order means uh, you go one right after another. You don't skip each other. You don't just like bullet roleplay like I do this, I do that. Um, it's very storybook written where it's a lot of words and you can kind of see a little bit of ours over here. Uh, people all take turns writing, etc. Um, it is a full moon tonight at uh, Revenland, just like it is in real life. So with this sim, my character is a druid, so she's dancing around the stone temples tonight uh, with a few friends. Um, it just uh, a lot of people are wondering what you do day to day. What happens if you miss a day, like if you have to do real life, which is completely understandable. Um, so I figured I would just address a few of those questions. So with day-to-day -day life, you can wander around, you can roleplay on your own. They do have a submission box that they do read pretty often, and um, they will apply any roleplay that you do do, do do, <laughs> to their roleplay system. So if you cast a spell to protect a certain area, you have to turn that into the admins uh, in their little special roleplay box, and then they will make sure that does apply in roleplay. Um, same thing goes, I also am a healer at the bandits camp, so they will sometimes, like I went over there and all I did was just make them food and stuff, and they even counted that, so all the bandits have been eating like kings. <laughs> so it's it's a very immersive roleplay so far, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, if you ever miss a day, like say you have to go to work, you're gone all day, it's very common to headcanon, and headcanon is where you just pretty much say where your character's been all day. If you post in, you can be like, oh, this was where they were. And that adds to your character development. My character often, if I'm missing it, if I'm not here, she's probably out with her father taking care of him. Or maybe she's foraging in the woods, etc. It's okay. It's alright if they're missing for a few days. And this applies also for other roleplay sims. If you are sick or something, you can't be online, have your character be sick too. Have them be stuck in bed. Or maybe they're just sick, so busy studying or something <laughs> that they're unable to make it. I know the bandits often sometimes go on pirate excursions to go loot and plunder or trade. <laughs> so it all depends. You can kind of just make up their story as you go. Um, with Revenland, it's pretty cool. It's pretty open source. As long as your character comes from the medieval era, or like a Dungeons and Dragons style era, it works. Like we have dragons, we have vampires, we have lichens, druids, bandits, thieves, princesses, princes, you name it, it's there. Um, there's even people that play feral characters like wolves, and uh, there's a dragon right up here. Oh, I'm right in their gut. Ah. <laughs> or, uh, let's cam on, on Eric. He's a wolf. He's a lycanthrope, but he can also change into a wolf. Uh, people like that. Like, it's just a really cool sim, um, and I'll be excited to ex explain more about it to you guys in another video. For now, I'm going to go back to my roleplay. So, see y'all later. Bye.